Hi, I wanted to show you a crystal radio I built. Uh, it took me a little while, and we had some help with the wiring from a friend, Roger Horton, out west, who was uh, very kind in helping me uh, get through the wiring. Um, the radio itself I utilized, for the most part, vintage parts, and most of them date back to the 20s and 30s. And what we'll do, we'll give a little description of the parts we use, and then hopefully we'll do a little demo and see if we can pull anything in. So I'll give a little tour of the radio and the parts I use. Uh, it's a link coupled radio and it uses a uh, tap adjustable antenna tuning coil and found this part and sort of worked it in. Uh, that uses a variable capacitor and the radio itself uses a varicoupler which is that big round object in the middle and that adjusts both the tank coil inductance and provides a link for coupling the aerial to the tank coil. Uh, we use a second a uh, variable capacitor right here and we utilize that to tune the very coupler tank itself. And we use four different detectors on the radio and we can go from one to the other using a little variable control up front. And the first detector is, you can barely see it, uh, that simply is a 1N34 diode and I use that for the initial tuning. Um, then we have uh, an old uh, dual crystal cat whisker antenna and I'm using iron pyrites and all the detectors here just the little pieces of crystal behind that we have a Fillmore detector and next to that <coughs> is a Fada detector a uh, little barrel detector okay so let's see if we can uh, pull in a station I'm running about a hundred feet of uh, antenna wire uh, out back so the first thing we need to do is attach the antenna uh, to one of the binding posts in the back and the next is attaching the ground now because crystal radios uh, the output is very very small because we're not using any electricity other than the power from the uh, radio signals themselves we can use a headphone uh, what I'm doing here I'm going to hook this up to a, a little uh, mini battery powered uh, speaker and I am going to hook up the two speaker wires to the binding post in the front and we should be just about done so let's turn the speaker on and see if we have anything going on and the first thing we'll do is adjust the adjustable coil and now we'll see what we can come up with There we go. Pretty cool. 